welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're out here at Arrowwood Country Club. I have Isabel Shi with me and Maya Tanaka. So we're going to be playing the white tees today to keep it interesting, make some birdies out there and just have a uh, friendly competition. And uh, yeah, may the best lady win. <laughs> and let's welcome Maya to the channel. Hi. So this is her first time out here, friends with Isabel, former UCLA player and uh, six years on the tour, is that correct? Yep, Symmetric Tour. Nice, and she was on Big Break and yep. Amazing Rain. Wow. Holy moly, holy moly. She's like a TV yeah. Yeah. She does it all. TV personality. So. <laughs> I've lost all of them, so I'm gonna win today. <laughs> this will be the highlight of yeah. my career. Don't forget to follow um, all the girls on Instagram. Their links will be down in the description box. Make sure you like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And comment down below what your favorite part of the video was, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, second shot here, I have 154 in. Um, that's what it's playing with the slope, and I have a seven iron. Oh, P hit this one great. It is just a little bit right of the pin drawn. All right, hole number one, hit the fairway. I have 175, I'm gonna hit a five iron. Going up the pin. All right, so I have 155 yards. Uh, it's slightly headwind, so I'm just gonna take my six iron. Good touch. All right, good par. Birdie! <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> All right, good start. Looks like Isabel is uh, one up with that little uh, birdie. Yeah, she made a good birdie one there. Up. Okay guys, this is hole number two. It's a par five downhill. Looks pretty straight away. There's bunkers and OB on the left and it's 547 yards. So what's up? Nothing much. I've just been uh, starting my YouTube channel actually, and I also started uh, my positivity blog. So it's a lot of like tea to street. How do you apply like what you learn on the course like into real day, re into everyday life? So that's kind of what I've been working on. Um, so my YouTube channel is gonna come out probably in the next week or two. Nice. So stay tuned. So I'm really excited for that. I've been working like super hard on it. So. Awesome. Yeah. So this is a par five second shot and needs my three wood. I hit the fairway. I have about 300 yards in. I'm going to hit my three wood. She, uh, she hit it well, just a little bit right. Should be right in front of the bunker or in it. I have like 300 plus in, I think. Um, I'm just gonna hit three wood, get it up there, and uh, hopefully have a wedge in. All right, caught it a bit heavy, but it's down the middle, and it's gonna be a good layup. So I didn't hit the best three wood, but I left it um, in a good position. I'm about 130 yards. I have some headwind, so I'm gonna take like an easy eight. Okay, so I have 100 left here. This is my third shot into this par five. Um, I'm gonna play it about between 1.5 and 1.10. The wind's kind of switching, so I'm gonna get over and kind of decide on the number. <laughs> oh, she caught that a little bit heavy. And she's on the front part of the green. So I have about 110. I'm gonna add a little bit because there's a little bit wind into my face. It happens to be my favorite club, my pitching wedge. So I'm gonna go right for the pin. I know that's not the smartest play, but I'm trying to win today. 
Looks good. Oh yeah. Oh, it had some sauce on it. It spun all the way back. So she's got like a 35, 40 footer. Isabelle's one up with that birdie on the first and she's got about a 20 footer over there just to the right. And then uh, both Maya and Paris came up a little bit shy and they've got some 40 footers over Ridge. Advantage Isabelle. All right, so Paris might have to break it into the rough right there. It's gonna be a tough putt. Good stuff, girls. Never count me out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough little, what, 12 footer? Real right to left break? Yeah, that was, that was a tester, definitely. You don't make those all the time. Okay, guys, this is hole three here. It's a par three. It's 169 yards with bunkers on the right and the left. The left one over there, as you can see, it's not really in play, and the pin's tucked on the right there. So, um, good shot to the center of the green's probably good here, but I'm assuming somebody's gonna go for it. Oh, Maya just hit this one great, right at the pin with a little draw. Looks great. Ooh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Isabel hit this one really crispy. Just a little bit right of the pin. Looks good though. All right. P hit this one at the pin with a draw. All right, Maya hit a good shot in there. She's probably got about 23 feet left. And uh, Paris went a little long, and Isabel's in the front bunker. So we got a plugged lie. She's gonna take nearest point of relief, and she's in play. Oh no, a little wet. All right, so Isabel is in the bunker. She's got a pretty good lie. It's a little uphill, a little downwind, and she's just gonna kind of splash it and try and get it close. All right, caught that a, a tad heavy. Oh. Okay, good job. Yards. It's a forward win, so I'm going to take a nine iron. Oh, great shot. Hit it a little past the pin and sucked it back. Well done. Pitching wedge. Another wedge. Basically 123 yards, but downwind. I'm going to go right at the flag and see what happens. Paris bombed it down the middle. What do you got left? <laughs> no, I needed that after the last hole. Um, so I have one 17 left, but it's a downwind. Um, I'll probably play it between like one, really one 12, and I have a pitching wedge. Okay, just a little bit left, but on the green, good shot. We got three good shots in here. Uh, looks like Paris and Isabella are next to each other, and then Maya's just a little bit past. Good putt. Oh, what a putt. Thank you, staying alive. You guys are playing pretty good golf right now. So Maya, you've been on a few TV shows, huh? Mm-hmm, couple. Which ones have you been on? I've been on CBS Amazing Race, Golf Channel's Big Break, and ABC's Holy Moly. Ooh, and what did you think about it? Honestly, um, well, I didn't win any of those, 
but it taught me a lot about golf and competition and it definitely has proved myself to be a huge competitor and that's what fuels me now. Mm. And what do you think about um, growing the game of golf? Um, honestly, like, I really believe in sharing your passions and I'm so passionate about golf that I love teaching junior golfers, women, and just opening up the sport to everyone. So right now I currently teach at Del Mar Golf Center and I teach a lot of ladies and people in business to try and grow the game a little bit and it's really fun. Maya, why do you use uh, your green neon ball? Well, you know, I'm getting a little bit older and I need to be able to see my ball, but to be honest, I really like to know which ball is mine and like kind of prepare myself for whatever shot I have ahead of time so I never get confused with somebody else. So hmm. I like this ball. Okay, this is hole number five. It's a par four, 338 yards, so fairly short. It is a dog leg left. Um, if you see that car up there in the middle of the fairway, that's probably the play um, with our drive, so we can probably cut the corner a little bit here. We have about 120, a little downwind, a little bit right to left. So I'm gonna play my wedge and I'm gonna make sure to keep it on the right side of the pin. Oh, she clipped this one really well. It's drawn right at the pin. Ooh. Oh, wow. Had some sauce on it too. Great shot. Thanks. Oh, Paris clipped this good with a little baby draw. It's gonna, no, it's not gonna suck back. It's gonna be right there. She's got about 20 feet. All right, Isabel pulled this just a little bit left of the pin, but it's on and uh, pin high. Good shot. We got three good shots in there. Um, looks like Maya is closest, so advantage her. It's a really close match. These girls are uh, playing great. Throw them a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment. Oh, great putt. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Well done. Do it. Oh, she did. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what? All right, this is hole six. It's a 275 par four. Yes, I said 275. Um, this is actually one of my favorite holes out here just because it is almost drivable for me. Um, I'm assuming everybody's gonna hit driver here. There's definitely bunkers that cover the green in the front. I'm actually going to move to the right so you guys can see them. There we go. If you did want to lay up, there is a bunker to the right over here, but that's not going to be in play for us. So that's where the pin is on this par four. And uh, looks like Isabel and Maya just hit great drives on the green, perfect. They have about 45, 50 feet over a ridge. Paris just stayed in. She's got a tough lie, it looks like. And, uh, but she's got a lot of green to work with. Okay, that's coming in kind of hot. All right, that's not bad. All right, so we got Maya's uh, ghost putter over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just standing on its own. I don't know what that thing is, but it's lined up and that's, that's pretty great. Just gotta get down the hill. Okay, that's not bad. Just got about six feet for bird. All right. <laughs> Got one. All right, one under now. Okay, good par. Right now, Isabel's two under. Me and Paris are both one under. 
What do you think, Paris? We're gonna catch her? We got three holes left. We can do it. Right. Yeah, I better yeah. keep going then. Yeah, sounds fun. You're going down. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for the next few holes. It's gonna become a match. So Isabel, I love your outfit today. Oh, thank you very much. You look good, you feel good, you play good. Tell me a little bit more about these socks. Where can I get them? Oh, my socks? So I'm actually launching my sock brand soon. And um, our mission for the company is uh, to inspire golfers and golfers' speed to bring the lifestyle and the philosophy into the game of life. So these socks, and it's going to be, you know, apparel and everything in the future, but they're meant for the tea to street lifestyle, both spiritually and physically. So where can everyone follow you at? What's going on? So uh, you can follow me on my Instagram, Isabel She, uh, but I've also started uh, my positivity blog recently, and then that is at isabelshe.blog, and you can find the link down below. All right, this is hole seven. It's a 346 uh, par four up the hill. There's OB left, as you can see with the houses over there, and OB right. So definitely gotta keep it to the center of the fairway here and stay out of that trap on the right as well. Maya and Paris are literally right next to each other. <laughs> I think I got you by a centimeter. <laughs> Throw these girls a thumbs up. They're playing some great golf. Uh, two of them are one under and then Isabel's two under. And Isabel uh, bombed hers and she's just right next to that golf cart. I just caught that little thinny. Going a little left, got a good bounce and I think it's just right in front. Same yardage, about 94 yards. I have my 52 degree, which goes 100. So I'll probably knock it down a bit. Oh, she trapped draw this one really well. Good ball flight. Oh, it's all over it. Yeah, great one. All right, so 90 yards. I'm gonna take a knockdown 50 degree wedge. Oh, Ez hit this really well, just right of the pin. Yeah, it looks good. Maya and Isabel hit a couple great shots in there. And then Paris just came up a little bit short. She's in the rough. She's gotta get up and down. <laughs> it's like she knew she was gonna make that. Okay guys, this is hole eight here. It's a par three up the hill. It's 155 yards. And there's just a bunker in front of the green. Obviously you just gotta make sure you, you'll get over that. I think that guy just threw his ball up to the green. <laughs> green, obviously you just gotta make sure you, you'll get over that. <laughs> That's my entire mood. And uh, yeah, the match is really coming down to the wire here. All right, Paris pulled that a little bit left of the pin and drawn. Oh, just came up a little bit short, right above the bunker in the rough. Maya took this right at the pin, drawn a little bit. Oh, and it landed on. And I think it's gonna be good. Isabel pushed this a little bit right, but it should be on the green. Yep, there she is. All right, you guys saw Paris come up a little bit short of the green. She's got a tough little chip. Uh, Maya hit a great shot in there. She's got about six, seven feet. And then Isabel uh, was smart and uh, missed it just a little bit to the right. All right, really good touch right there. That was a tough shot. Yeah, really well done. All right, good par. Oh, all right, that was a tough putt. Nice all right, bar. another good up and down. All right, P, uh, let's give uh, the fans an update on what's going on with you and how you did at Q School. Because everyone's been asking. I know, so I actually took a little bit of a break after Q School. I didn't really honestly play the way that I wanted to. Um, obviously, when you're put in that situation, um, you know there's a lot on the line. Obviously, I had the mentality of going in there and playing you know, like I usually do, like it's just any other tournament, but I don't know, the pressure got to me and I uh, definitely learned a lot while I was there and uh, reacted a little differently to the situation than I had planned for. 
Um, and I expected pressure when I got there. It was just a little different um, and, and during that time. So um, I didn't get through to stage two, unfortunately. So right now I'll just stick to playing mini tours. Um, fortunately, I still somehow will have a little Symmetra status next year if I decide to play um, on that tour. Um, I probably won't get into the first couple events, but you know, you try to work your way in and then get your way into the reshuffle and get better status that way. So um, I'll just keep creating content for you guys and play on mini tours. And you know, it, it's such a ride and a grind out here and I'm still loving every moment of it. And um, it's good to be out here either way, so. Okay, last hole here, it's hole nine. It's uphill par five, definitely a three shot hole here. It's 515 yards with OB left and OB right. There's bunkers on both sides of the fairway here, so we're just gonna hit it to the center and set us up for a good second shot. best shot. I have maybe like 335 to the pin, so I'm going to take a 5 iron and just kind of lay up. Okay, about as good as it gets. I decided to make this hole interesting. I'm in the bunker. I should probably lay up, but I didn't come here to lay up today. <laughs> I'm going to play this shot trying to make sure to hit the ball first. So I clip more of the ball, less of the sand. Ooh, that was a great shot. Wow. All right, P, what do you got here? She right, bombed so one down the middle. <laughs> I have uh, 276 left. I actually need to lay up because um, you guys might not be able to see, but the bunker's really elevated. So I just really don't want a short wedge going up there. So I'm gonna lay up to probably, hopefully like 200, or sorry, 70. Eighty. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she pured it Solid. down the middle. Good job. Solid. So I hit a really good shot with my five iron out of that trap, but it does leave me with a long post shot. So I have 190. I'm gonna take my three iron. All right, you guys can barely see the flag up there. It's uh, just waving just over that hill. A little bit right of the pin, but I think it's on. Good shot. We have about 115 uphill downwind and kind of a hidden flag. So I'm gonna take the line of where I think the flag is and follow it to my ball. And that'll be my aiming line. Oh, she took it right at it. Maybe a little left of the pin. Should be okay. All right, last shot here. I have 97 yards in, playing 100. It's a little downwind, so I might just play at 97, and I have my 50 degree. Uh, she caught that a bit heavy. Oh no, it's great. What a golf shot that was. It's right below the pin. Possibly another birdie. Isabelle hit a really good shot from 190 out there. She's pin high, probably got about 30 feet. You guys just saw Paris come up. Great shot, and then uh, Maya just uh, on the fringe. Oh, great effort, okay. All right, good par. <laughs> All right, good good par. Paris has got this little kick in, just a little elementary two-footer up the hill. <laughs> and uh, I've got no doubt that she'll knock this one in. All right. Yeah, good match. Yeah, good job. Awesome. Thank you. That's that was fun. awesome. Good job. Good I match. think we tied. That was, that was fun. So, that much was fun. so much fun. Everyone played really well today. Um, it's so great to have Maya out on the channel. Yeah. Thanks for having me. me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll thank we'll Mike and Marco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is nice to have Isabel too. Thank you. It's good to see her. <laughs> like old times. I know. Yeah. Right. We played uh, in college for a year together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much if you guys have stuck around this far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, make sure you guys check out their Instagrams down below. Those will be in the description and mine will be there too. And um, I think I also should...
and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's just cutting right through. Unbelievable. <laughs> he literally went through the middle of that video right there. It's golf etiquette 101. Front of the green, obviously, you just gotta make sure you'll get over that. I think that guy just threw his ball up to the green. <laughs> That's my entire mood. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>